Hi, this is just a short video to show you how to balance the blades of your wind turbine. My setup is basically just a pole, the turbine inserted into the pole with it properly secured, a rope supporting the turbine from the roof of the garage, and a tail mounted on a chair. The reason for this is we need to make sure that the turbine is completely level. I use a simple level device, I put it there, and then you can just move the chair back and forward to make sure that the turbine is level. It's important for me to say that you need to be very careful with everything you do here. These weigh 15 kilos uh, and they could cause serious injury. So please be very, very careful with everything you do. The turbine blade, I've mounted the two already as you can see. There's a flat surface and a curved surface. The flat surface always faces the front. The next thing, you've got your stainless steel bolts. I highly recommend that you put a bit of grease on them. This just prevents any moisture buildup in the screw joints. It's set the turbine. Tighten it up. The next thing you're going to need is a 14mm or 916 socket. Just tighten that up finger tight. A bit of grease on the other two bolts. As I said, not a lot. Just a little bit. Okay, now what we need to do is tighten all the bolts, just finger tight, so that the blades are held in place, but can be moved. I'll show you what I mean. There is some movement there. Okay, we double check the level. All that movement, it's moved a little bit, so I need to go down a bit. Okay, now as you can see, the turbine is unbalanced. It immediately wants to just rock down, and you can see that this is obviously the heaviest blade. You balance the blades by using what I call a whacking stick, something that's not too hard to damage the blades. As you can see, we can see here that the heaviest part is down the bottom here, so we need to bring these two blades up a little bit to equal the centre of gravity. So I just tap that a little bit, and as you can see, it's moved it to there, so now we need to make Okay, after a while, you'll get used to this and you should be able to do it in five minutes. Sometimes it goes very, very quickly. Other times it just takes a bit longer. Now the easiest way is just to put the turbine in the various positions. And as you can see, it still wants to... So now we've got the classic position here, so we need to bring this up a little bit. And also, it's important to, to do this in a room without any wind. So close the doors, because any breeze will affect the balancing of the turbine. I do this. See that that's where it wants to balance. Okay, we're pretty close as you can see now, so the best way to test it, alright, so it still wants to rock down there, so we'll move that to there. Now if you find that every time you do your tapping it just continually goes out, these may be a little bit too loose or too tight, so just, you just want it just sufficiently tight so that when you tap it, they move. Okay. 
Now the reason we can balance it this way is the bearings of our turbines are very free running. So that, as you can see, that's, I'll just leave that there. That's not wanting to move anywhere else. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. You get your socket. Now, it's important not to touch the blades when you're doing the tightening. So you hold the main assembly, start with the centre, put as little stress as possible on the turbine. You'll find the exact torque settings in the manual. I find that if you just do them fairly tight, Okay, so now we need to check the level. That needs to come up. Okay, and of course we need just to recheck to make sure that we haven't moved anything, so just That's very good. Okay, so now we've finished balancing. You may have to, of course, loosen that off if you find that it's moving slightly and start again. And see. Can we put the nose cone on? Make sure that's centered. Okay, and then you just need to check the balance again to make sure that the nose cone is not off balance. Normally they're quite light, so it's not going to be a problem. Um, that's it. The only thing then you have to worry about is when you're installing it, make sure not that you don't knock the blades in any way to knock them off balance. Um, thank you very much.